Hey guys, Mark and Swan here, and I want to show you guys exactly how um, you could really get more leads, more sales, and more reps for your team national business. So uh, I'm going to show you exactly how I was able to hit the leaderboards for the total number of leads for the last 30 days. Okay, as you can see here, uh, again here for the last uh, seven days. Okay, and then in terms of lead increase, I'm here for the top leaderboard out of thousands of people for the last seven days, uh, top five for the last 30 days, and even here again for the last 90 days. I want to show you guys exact steps I had to take to take things to the next level in my business, uh, to generate those leads where I was speaking to uh, 10 to 20 new people each day um, and recruiting the amount of reps that I've really wanted to to hit those ranks in my business so uh, guys uh, lay it out here uh, the exact steps for the next 10 minutes and at the very end I'm going to show you guys some ways where you can continue your education to learn more modern day marketing techniques um, that are going to allow you to flourish in your business wishing everybody all the best and wishing you um, really all the best in your business and everything that you're doing and I will see you guys at the very end Who's your ideal client, customer, and teammate? Who, whose problem does your product solve? Okay, So we're diving into the type of questions that's going to get you to know exactly who your target uh, audience is. What are their demographics? What else do you know about them? Lots of times, they're just like you. The biggest mistake is to be too broad and not really know who they are. So target market, you got to target what their problem is because then you're going to be the one who offers the solution. You're going to go deep with this. You're going to find out their real life scenarios. It's not just about business. It's not just how much money they want to make. It's why they want to make that much money. Maybe they want more time to spend with their family. Maybe they want more time to spend uh, and see their son's soccer game. Okay. Put yourself in their shoes. What keeps them tossing and turning at night? Because once you figure that out, you're going to know exactly what solution you're going to have to offer when they wake up. Your target market. Target market is the right message for the right people. You will need to identify exactly who you want to attract. The common mistake is to be, think your business is for everyone. Your business is not for everyone. You can't attract everybody under the sun. If you're marketing it to everyone, your market is to no one. And here's the current state of Facebook. People are going on there and constantly pitching and selling things. People don't go on Facebook to buy. People don't go on Facebook looking for business opportunity. They don't want to talk about politics. They don't want news updates. They go on Facebook to escape and be entertained. And most of us really don't get that, right? So there's some important things to remember. It's social media. It's not business media. People go on Facebook to be social and to be nosy. They want to see what's going on in other people's lives and they want to be engaged. And they want to laugh and be inspired. So please, with that said, stop pitching. Instead, make connections and get to know people. If you find yourself asking how can I can close people, you only find that you attract the type of people who try to close you. Instead, be social and build a following. Here's what to do. Social media is about making connections. Make sure that your picture is inviting. Make sure you have a fun and engaging profile. Make sure people want to follow you. Complete your bio. Make sure your, your profile is public. This can be done in a private setting. And if you're a marketer, make sure your profile is public. This allows people to see what you're doing. Um, if your profile is private, I know some of us are feel like we're private people, but it, we want to get more eyes on what we're doing. We want to allow people to be nosy and see what we're doing. And make your profile so that people cannot just post on your timeline. Here's what not to do. Don't pitch. Uh, don't message people directly about your business opportunity and what you're doing stop posting pictures of your MLM all over your 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 page as if that's your company I uh, see people with pictures in the background um, and all over their page and just making your page look like a billboard and that's not what you want and when you brand yourself you are an authority at that point people will reach out to you and people will ask you what you're doing you brand yourself by offering value if you, once you become the person of value, people are going to definitely start reaching out to you. Don't quit and don't let little engagement and negative negativity uh, discourage you. Simply by remaining consistent in your activity, people will reach out to you. Your vibe is going to attract your tribe you do. So attracting people to you, here's some things you want, want, want to post, okay? This is what to post. You want to post curiosity versus resistance. 
Okay, 90% personal things and 10% about your business. So imagery, picture quotes, that's good. Lifestyle pictures, those are all personal things uh, that tell people and let people know the type of person that you are, the type of vibes that you get off. Okay, your message, what you stand for, valuable resources and content. Okay, maybe it's your blog, maybe it's a video, random questions, fun, funny polls, that's going to get engagement. Okay, give people opportunity to go to your blog and pay attention to feedback. So the world is a feedback mechanism. That's a Robert Kiyosaki post, and it's true. When you post something that gets little engagement, that's a feedback. When you post something that gets a lot of engagement, that's feedback. Okay, so how to engage with people on your timeline? You're gonna do a curiosity post. A curiosity post is gonna force people to want more information. So that could be, hey, this morning I had a great smoothie with apples, oranges, and green powder, almond milk. I had energy all day. Oh, and then people are going to ask, what is that green powder, right? And then at that point, uh, it kind of gives you a way where you can then talk about the benefits of that green powder that might be affiliated with your company, okay? This uh, is really the way, that's the way you want to get people to engage with you uh, so it doesn't seem like you're, you're selling something. People were curious, so you answered their question. How to engage people on your timeline? You're going to ask a question like this, maybe who, who still uses Snapchat? That's going to get people uh, engaging on your profile. And what that's going to do and help you with is actually boost the next post that you do. Uh, the more engagement you get on one post, the more engagement you'll get on the next post. Uh, fill in the blank. At Howard, at Rutgers, uh, I went. I was known for blank. So whatever your college is, I was known for blank. I love my blank. Okay, quotes. Post engaging pictures, post blog posts, uh, all those things are going to definitely help you get engagement on your page. How to connect in groups. So always connect in groups with the mindset that you're going to give value and make connections. Not that you're trying to sell people on things. People in your market, uh, so maybe if you're in business, uh, that's the Robert Kiyosaki fan page. That's the Tony Robbins fan page, okay? Those things are going to set... Uh, and set a goal to make five to ten new connections every, every day. That doesn't have to be uh, people that necessarily uh, will absolutely join your business, but five to ten connections every day is a good thing, and keep in contact with those connections, okay? Be consistent in the group, become a per. Um, and people will get to know you for your comments. Comments on other po people's posts and be social. Again, your mindset should be around making connections and not closing prospects. Uh, find a group that interests you outside of your business. Maybe it's a sport, it's a hobby, and get to know people in there as well. You'll have something in common. People Pre-qualify people. So make sure that people are positive, business-minded, active on Facebook, and actually being social. Okay? And you're going to utilize Facebook Live. So Facebook has changed its algorithm to favor face Facebook Lives and really video in general. Okay, If you're going to do a general video, you actually want to just upload that video onto Facebook directly versus sharing like a YouTube link or anything like that because Facebook is Facebook is favoring Facebook video. Okay, So Facebook Lives, you want to definitely use Facebook Lives and those could be used to subtly promote your blog posts, your coaching program, um, or any little piece of value that you want to give. You're, you're using it as a tool to offer value to the marketplace up front, definitely. Uh, create a daily show uh, and always end with a call to action. You're going to keep it short and engaging um, and invite people to take that action. Uh, you can actually uh, utilize uh, Facebook Lives in some of the groups. So you can actually go into some groups and then use, uh, you, you can actually go live in some groups. So you can imagine how that how that is, okay? You want to download your video and put it on your blog or YouTube. So after you go live, go ahead and download your video. You're going to use downloadvideostrum.com and download your videos and then put those on your blog and your YouTube channel so you can continue to spread that same value. Some things not to post. So I'm looking for X number of people to join my company and my team. We're going to talk more about the do's and don'ts in video two, but just to briefly go over some things you do not want to post. Uh, posting your company's website constantly all over your page. Have your company branded everywhere on your page. It's not what you want to do. Flat and natural. If you're in a travel company, hey guys, this is what you don't want to do. Hey guys, uh, everybody loves to travel. Click my link to learn more about traveling. Oh, I love traveling. Hey, uh, I just started a new traveling business and uh, click my link to learn more. Uh, you can book your trip right now. Uh, who wants to make more money traveling traveling the world? Click this link to learn more. You don't want to do that. You don't want to just uh, just be a poster person for your for your company. Instead, do this. Three ways to travel without breaking the bank. You're going to give your name and your location. Uh, would, would you like to take more vacations uh, without breaking your bank? Here's three tips to save more money while traveling. 
Okay, private message me for a list of 10 full trips. And at that point, you could offer a blog post with those 10 tips to save money uh, on their trips and, and, and people and offer more value to the people. It's important not to have the mindset of always trying to get people in your business. If you have the mindset, you're only going to attract the type of people who want you to join their business. With that said, there are six questions uh, that may help you uh, to that you may want to consider when speaking to new prospects. Um, and it's important that you have a natural conversation. So don't just rapid fire these questions, but these are the essential questions that help you move the conversation along. And think of these questions conceptually, conceptually rather than exact words. Again, your idea is to one, either A, get them on your list, uh, your email list, or B, get your prospects onto the phone so you can talk. So here are the closing questions. Who do you work for? Okay, and the goal is really to get them to ask you back. Okay, how long have you been doing that for? Okay, wow, you must love it, huh? And this is really where you get them to uh, really tell you a pain point or a point where, um, hey, you know what? I actually don't really love exactly my job or what I'm doing. Um, and they offer, they share a pain point with you. Have you ever considered uh, doing anything different? Okay, this may or may not be for you, but based on what you shared with me, so that means you had enough of a conversation that they shared something with you, you may want to take a look at what, what I do, especially since it won't interfere time-wise with any of your commitments. If you're open, I can send you some information. If not, no big deal. Okay, fill them out, and you'll know whether the time is right or not, um, and make sure you have properly have identified a problem. Okay, here's my number. Give me a call if you have any questions. What's yours so I know who's calling me? And that's, that's really where you get them on the phone and you really get to talk to the person. Just be a person um, and just talk to them. The key is to offer a helping hand and build rapport. Talk to people and build relationships. Because sometimes uh, you will be able to help others and other times they may be able to help you. Take your personal development seriously. Uh, and it, it's Okay? When you... When do I ask them to check out my business? That might, might be what you're, you're thinking right now. Well, it really depends. Do you, they have a need? Have you identified the need? Have you identified the problem that you can solve? Are they open to what you have to offer? Uh, different speeds and different trust factors are involved. People have different speeds of where they can say, all right, I trust you. Let me know what you're, what you're about. Ideally, you definitely want to get people on the phone. You definitely want to get people onto some kind of call where you're having that interaction and you're, you're speaking to that person. The goal is to get them to ask you, what do you do? So just have them make sure they ask you, what do you do? Okay. How do you get phone numbers? You're going to ask them. And this is how you're going to do it, okay? Facebook is kind of impersonal. Uh, is it cool if you just talk on the phone? Okay, and this, here's, here's the one I, I love and I really use the most. Hey, I'm tired of typing. Um, Want to just talk on the phone? Here's my number. What's yours? Period. That's really the most effective effective one. Uh, what's the best time to, to jump on the phone? What time works better for you? 7 or 9, or 9 p.m.? All of those are ways to get people on the phone. But here's the question you need to ask yourself. What's your intent? Is your intent to sell someone or is it to serve someone? You know, that's the question you have to ask yourself. Because you really want to be the person that comes from a place of service and a place of value. Well, I hope this information helps you in your business, and I really hope that uh, things really start to flourish for you. If you want the full course uh, of this for absolutely for free, go ahead and click the link in the description, um, and you could get that course. And if you want to know the exact system that I use that was able to really change things in my business, uh, where you know I was able to generate those leads and hit the leaderboards, go ahead and click the link in the description there as well. Okay, and I hope you get value from this, and I wish you guys all the best in your business and everything that you're doing, and keep pushing forward. Okay, see you guys on the next video.